is going up? What is going on YouTube? It is your guy S-Man. Yes, Welcome back to another SML movie reaction today. We are reacting to SML movie Jeffy's Bowling Ball. So this just got released hours ago. And just hours ago, I was still streaming. So I'm ready to get into this reaction. Because after this reaction, I'm having pizza for dinner. And having it for dinner tomorrow too. Because I'm going to be with my dad tomorrow. So I'm just going to can the chatter. Get into this reaction. Because I am getting very hungry. Because I have not eaten a thing today. So let's can the chatter. Get into this reaction. Right? Right. Let's do this. So Marvin, we have the house to ourselves since Jeffy's out playing bowl the ball with his friends. You mean bowling? Oh, that's a clever name for it, Marvin. They should call it that. They do. Well, they will now since you said it. Well, Marvin, you should go downstairs and lock the front door. Ooh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we don't want just anybody walking in because who knows where we'll end up. Okay, I'll go lock it. Let me just lock the door. Marvin! Ooh, freaking time! All right, Jeffy, I have a 115. That means you have to get a 9 to tie or 10 points to win. I'm gonna get a strike! Oh, yeah, yeah, you know you're not. It's going, it's going! Ah, Jeffy, you got a 7. That means you have to get 2 to tie and all of them to win. Well, I'm gonna get all of them. Yeah, right, you can't get all of them. You're gonna lose. No, I'm not. I'm gonna win. Yeah, we'll see about that, guys. Right. All right, Jeffy, you got this. All you gotta do is get three little pins and you win. Fuck. Ah, he didn't get a single pin. Ah. You suck at bowling, Jeffy. You lose. I don't suck at bowling. I hate losing at bowling. And I hate locked doors more. Let's try that again. That's one way again, Sean. Oh, baby, that was amazing. Marvin, you didn't even make it to five Mississippis. I made it to four Mississippis, and that's a new record. How many Mississippis do you need? Mama needs a lot of Mississippis. And then you can name all 50 states and start on countries. All right, baby, let's watch a movie. What do you want to watch? Um, let's watch Came in 60 Seconds. I mean, Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay. Marvin, you should go unlock the door downstairs in case Jeffy comes home. Good idea, baby. What the... Pinecone dick. What? Acorn balls. Jeffy, I'm being serious. Yeah, listen to me right now. Old cherry stem dick curves to the side. Jeffy, listen to me. Did you throw a bowling ball through the front door? No, what? but you seem mad. I am mad, Jeffy, because someone threw a bowling ball through the front door and you went bowling with your friends. I ain't go bowling with my friends. I've been here all night. I don't even like bowling. Bowling's gay. So you're telling me you didn't go bowling with your friends? Nope. Well, someone threw a bowling ball through the front door. I know, and I heard it too. And whoever did it, they did it twice. Because the first time, the bowling ball didn't break the glass. How do you know? Oh, no, I heard it. Well, Jeffy, if you're telling me the truth, did you throw a bowling ball through the front door? No, I did not. Okay, well, I'm going to call the cops and find out who did it. Yeah, and I think you should, too, because there's a bowling ball banding on the loose going around throwing bowling balls at people's front doors because it's locked. Okay, well, I'm... How'd you know the door was locked? Lucky guess. All right, well, I'm calling the cops. If I find out it was you, you're so grounded. You're going to military school. You're going to be kicked out on the streets. I'll make sure you never step foot in this house again. Oh, bowling pin dick. Jeffy, stop. Sit. Ow! Okay, I'll see you then. Please hurry. Marvin, what was all that shouting? Someone threw a bowling ball through our front door. What? Yeah, there's glass everywhere. I just called the cops, and they're on their way. What? Who would do that? I have no idea. Someone who wanted to cause our life a lot of problems. <laughs> That must be the cops. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, you don't even have to open the door. I'm right here. Oh, hey. What's up, brother? What was that? I don't know. Just a thing people are saying. This is serious. There's broken glass all on my door. Yeah, I was just going to say, who did you piss off? The Incredible Hulk? No? Yeah, I, I can do better. Uh, who, who knocked on your front door last? The Incredible Hulk? <laughs> yeah, it's not really working, is it? Okay, how about this? Knock, knock. Who's there? Not the glass in your front door, because I'm the Incredible Hulk, and when I knocked it, Broke the glass. Stop with the Incredible Hulk jokes, they're not funny. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, 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 that's working. Uh, who did you piss off? A rock thrower? Y you know, because they say don't throw rocks at glass houses. 
in glass houses? Who did you piss off? The Rock? Painted green, so he looks like the Incredible Hulk. Oh, take this seriously, listen, the crime was committed, someone broke into my house with a bowling ball. Oh, okay, well I guess I'll come in, but um, do I open the door or just crawl in through the hole? Just crawl in! <laughs> this is silly. See, look, there's a bowling ball right here, and someone threw this through my door, and look at all this glass! Did they steal anything? No, they just threw the bowling ball and left. My god, I can only think of one man who would leave a bowling ball as a calling card. Who? Bobby Bowlinghands. Bobby Bowlinghands? Who's that? Yeah, let's come upstairs and I'll tell you. Let's get away from all this glass. Okay. Oh, good, Marvin. The cops are here. What's he saying? I have a story about who I think the perp is. Bobby Bowlinghands. Bobby Bowlinghands? Yeah, sit back. Let me tell you about him. So you remember the story about my nemesis in high school, Billy Bowlinghands, who lost his hands in a train accident, replaced them with bowling balls. He was really good at bowling. I challenged him to a swimming race. He drowned. You know the story. Well, Billy had a younger brother named Bobby Bowlinghands. I had a wood shop class with him, and he was so sad about his brother Billy dying that while we were cutting wood for a wood wooden race car project, he cut his hands off and replaced them with bowling balls like his brother. Ironically, he wasn't as good at bowling. He wanted to avenge his brother's death by getting payback on me, so he asked me if he could wash my car to save up cash for his brother's funeral, so I felt bad for him and I told him yes, but washing a car with bowling ball hands went about as well as you'd expect. He dented my car all over and smashed the windshield. I was so mad, I just knew he did it on purpose. Then, at prom, I was with my hot date, and I asked Bobby if he would get me a glass of punch, so he tried to grab the ladle to pour some punch into the cup, but his bowling ball hand smashed the bowl and made the punch spill all over my date and my rented white suit. It was so embarrassing. I just know Bobby did it on purpose. So I just know that bowling ball through your front door is because of Bobby. He's always trying to make my life more inconvenient just because his brother died. Well, that would make sense if there was a bowling ball through your front door, but the bowling ball went through my front door. It has nothing to do with you. Well, you see, Marvin, that's the genius of Bobby. He's a born tactician. Every move is a pawn off the board. He's playing four-dimensional chess, Marvin. He knows that I'm over here all the time because he's probably been following me. So he knew that you would have me fix your front door for $500. And of course I'm going to do it because it's $500. I wasn't going to ask you to fix my door. I was going to call a company. Well, you see, Marvin, that's exactly the genius of it. He knew you were going to say no and I would want $500. So I'm going to go downstairs and fix your front door. And you're going to give me $500 just like Bobby wants us to do. Because if we go off script, he's going to come up with something even worse. This way, whenever he shows up, we'll be ready for him. That ought to do it. All right, Marvin, the door's fixed. What, what is this? A fixed door. Well, no, 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 I didn't want wood. I wanted glass right here. What, so another bowling ball can come crashing through? I don't think so, Marvin. This is Brazilian mahogany. Nothing's breaking through that, except for maybe the Incredible Hulk. But you're not going to see him or piss him off because he's not even real. And even if he was, I don't know why he would come here. He'd be at my house because I have animal crackers. I think he'd like that. Well, no, I want a whole new door. A whole new door. You know, Marvin, like the song from Aladdin? Don't you dare close your eyes. Listen, listen, listen. I wanted a brand new door with glass. Because how am I going to see who's at the door if someone comes to the door? Well, that's exactly the point, Marvin. It'll be a surprise every time. It could be a serial killer, or it could be an Amazon Prime package. You won't know until you open the door. Go get me a new door. Okay, well, you owe me $500 for this. I'm not paying $500 for this crappy duct tape job. Okay, well, give me $500, and I'll go buy you a new door. You promise? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's $500. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take this and go to the door store. Here I go. To the door store. Okay. I'll be back. Sure I will. What'd you say? I said, I'll be back. And then I said, sure I will. Just reassuring you that I will be back. You better come back. I will. Sure I will. <sighs> Marvin, did he fix the front door? I mean, not really. He just put wood over where the glass used to be. Oh, no, Marvin. What are we going to do? What if Bobby Bowlinghands comes back? Maybe I don't think there ever was a Bobby Bowlinghands. I think he just wanted an excuse to make $500. Well, what do we do, Marvin? I don't know. I just wish there was a way that we could really see what happened to our front door. Hey, we could always check the Nest doorbell camera. Oh, yeah, baby. Check the app. Okay. See what the footage says. Let's see. Oh, Marvin? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna go beat some ass! Oh, I'll beat some ass tonight! Jeffy! Jeffy's not here at the moment. Please leave a message after the. Uh, uh. Jeffy, I can't wait to see you try to get out of this one. So earlier, I asked you if you threw a bowling ball through the front door, and you said, Fuck no! Exactly. Now press play on this video and you tell me what you see. Ah! 
That is not me. Oh, that's not you? No, that's my cousin. First name Reed, middle name Tar, last name Did. Oh, so that's not you. That's your cousin. Yep. Jimmy, I know that you. And why did you do it? Well, someone decided to lock the front door. How else was I supposed to get in? Ring the doorbell. Too hard. Oh, that's it. I'm being some ass. You bend over. Some ass beats about to happen. You cannot touch me or else I will call Child Protective Services on your bitch ass. Ow, 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 help, help, help. Hey, hey, stop it! Jimmy, that is it. I am going to go in your piggy bank, and I'm going to take all the money so I can buy a new door. You don't touch my piggy bank, you bitch! <laughs> don't touch it! Oh, Jeffy's going to get it now. Marvin, what are you doing? I'm going to break open Jeffy's piggy bank and get my money back from my door. Marvin, don't! Mommy, stop him! I don't know what to do! You asked for this, young man, and now you're going to get it. No, Biggie, no! No! Money laundering, bitch! Oh, Ask small question, what would you do if Jeffy broke your door? Uh what would I do? I would probably I probably would not come up beside the head saying, boy, why would you do boy, if I ever catch you doing that again? Next time it's gonna be cop. Next time it's either going to be cops getting called or it's going to be, or it's going to be, or it's going to be something much more painful if he doesn't pay, pay me back for it. But I'm not going to explain how painful it would be, but this is the end of this video. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, punch the like button so until I believe you're strong. Put a comment down below if you guys love uh, SML and fight your way to that subscribe button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah. Yeah.